What's up you guys? Hey, welcome back to yet another Daily Driven Exotics vlog. Just wiped the car down, it was looking absolutely disgusting. Got my boy Amir here. What's up guys? We, uh, we're off today to do something pretty, pretty important, pretty special. But before we get to that, let's just admire the car for a second. It was looking disgusting. Now these wheels, mwah, the Brixton forged wheels, they look absolutely amazing when they've been cleaned up. They even look good dirty. And the nice thing about these wheels was I had them ceramic coated along with the entire car. So wiping these down is really simple. The dirt just literally comes right off. Little secret insider information for you guys. Brixton's making me yet another set of wheels. We have a brand new reveal coming up for you guys. The wheels are currently being lathed. That's what the update I got this morning. So I'm super excited. I'm not gonna release any information at the moment about what style or what color we're doing, but just know it's gonna be super bad. So today we are going to get the wing put back on, bro. Finally, wing number two, you guys. So what does that mean? That means we gotta drive up to sadistic iron work. Yeah, unfortunately, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the wing got destroyed in a Jake Paul music video. I got a phone call from Alex Choi. Alex said, I have a friend who's doing a music video. He wants someone to do some donuts. Are you willing to come and do that in his music video? I didn't question Alex or who it was. I showed up, turns out it was Jake Paul and uh, we were slaying tires in his music video. And long story short, on my last pass, I came around and clipped a piece of like metal, uh, like a prop, a piece of art that they had in this warehouse. So destroyed the wing, luckily did not ruin the car. However, it ever so slightly, I think the wing nicked the car. And right here, we have a little bit of damage right along the corner of the wrap. So no big deal, that comes off, didn't wreck the car, thank goodness. Uh, I wanna give Amir a shout out his The Car Biz channel just hit 10K. Woo yeah, I'm and thanks excited. to some of you guys. So we're gonna jump in this tire slayer and we're gonna hit the road because we got like, dude, it's like an hour and 40 minute drive right now in traffic. Oh, wow. Yeah. So guys, let's do this. Let's jump in the tire slayer. <laughs> gotta get some navigation. So we have a one hour, 45 minute drive. So let's resume that. We're on Waze, got my cool rock form case. I can, little magnet on there. Some other cool adapters like this bad boy right up here, which you can also stick your phone on to. I'll show you guys a little bit more about that later, but for now, let's get on the road. Oh guys, we whacked something on the freeway. I don't know how bad it's gonna be, but we're about to find out. Yeah, it took a chunk out of the center. Are you kidding? Oh, right there. Not that I care, but I mean, I wonder what. I thought I could hear something. Oh yeah, it whacked yeah. underneath. So it took that chunk out there, and then basically screwed the cover up right here more. Is what it is. We move on. We'll fix it when we get to sadistic somehow. All right, you guys, we made it out to sadistic. There's their shop right there. We're about to go round two on the wing, but before we go in, I gotta do a quick sponsor shout out for a product that I absolutely love. I use day in, day out, and you guys ask me about it all the time in the comments, which is, what is the phone mount I use in my car? But more importantly, how does the mount work, which I don't really tell you guys too often, because it's a really cool product. See how this goes on here? I can just pull it off, watch. It's a magnet. So this is a neodymium magnet. It's not gonna affect any credit cards or anything in your wallet. And now these cases go for about 50 bucks, but dude, Rockform's hooking you guys up. You're gonna get 25% off. So this case is only $37. The best part is 
This is a polycarbonate hard outer with a shock resistant inner. So this phone case exceeds military specifications for drop standards, which is amazing. But if you want something that goes onto like your windshield, this is what you need right here, this bad boy. So I use this all the time so that the co-pilot sitting right here, which by the way, Amir had to run inside because he had to go to the bathroom so bad. You can move this. This is a suction cup with the twist mount. And then you can put the phone up here and you can put it sideways however you want. And your co-pilot can give you navigation coordinates. Rock form, make this in all sorts of different colors, you guys. I've got it because I got the gray so that the gray would match my car. Like, check this out. How cool is that? You can get red, you can get blue, you can get orange. So if you guys go to the links in the description, they're gonna give you guys 25% off. But look, how many people would straight up take their phone and just chuck it on the ground like that? Look at it. I beat the living out of my phone because I'm always vlogging, I'm dropping it, I'm always in some rush to get a shot. And this case has been saving my phone day in day out i wouldn't plug anything that i didn't believe in i use this all the time i love all the accessories go and pick one up i promise you you won't regret it and uh i mean look at this come on perfect nothing wrong with the phone let's go and get an introduction to sadistic ironworks and we're gonna go wing round two you guys Thank you, man. What was your name? Mason. Hey, Mason. Thanks for stopping by, brother. Yeah, no worries. I, I pulled up in the car and these guys were like popping in and freaking out. What was your name again? Oh, uh, Christian. Christian. Nice to meet you. Today, hey. my dad called me coming home from work and he says, I, I, I see the guy you're always talking about on YouTube. <laughs> and I was like, no way. And I was like, does it have blue rims and it's gray? And he said, yeah. So I called off work and school and my car broke down about two miles away and I had to run here in sandals. <laughs> you skipped school and called off work just, just to, come to come see me. I'm so honored I am that bad of an influence to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I appreciate it. And I like the five liter, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Well, I've got you here. What do you think? Since you're, you watch the channel, what do you think of the car in person? I don't know what to say. It's different, isn't it? It's different because I saw the uh, Ferrari Tire Slayer in person too. Oh, the 458. Yeah. Wow. So you're, old, you're OG DD fam. Yeah. Right on. And this one's insane. Thanks, man. Well, it's going to look a lot better in a minute when Bobby puts the wing back on. That was my bad. My bad, my bad. Um, what do you think of the car in person? I love it, man. It do was you? the rims that caught my eye when I was going by. So, <laughs> right would you be corner. sad if I told you the blue rims are going bye-bye? Kind of. <laughs> it makes the car. What do you think? It clashes. Like, it's just beautiful. Thank it's you. perfect. Now, what if I put a different wheel on there in another bright color? So, this is like a legit behind-the-scenes sneak peek of DD. So come over to this side. You guys can tell me, yay or nay. And you can be totally honest. I don't need like a biased opinion. Those oh. are the new wheels. Holy yeah. Hold on, hold on. I gotta zoom in, I need my hand. That's sick, dude. That's insane. So. Swap them. Right? Swap them, dude. Swap them. So these are made by Brixton again, and they are gonna look crazy, right? Yeah. So far it's like, a, if any of you don't like what I'm about to do, it's three, it's three to you guys. So we win, we win. So. The new wheels are right now, they're being laid by Brixton. They'll be assembled and sent to powder in the next few days. And I'm hoping I can get them on before a spade rally. So, yeah, so we'll have some, we have a new reveal coming. And then with the wing back on, and I got some other stuff that I'm doing. I'll tell you guys off camera, cause you guys are here. <laughs> All right, yeah. Shh, we'll be right back. Okay, you ready? It what? That really hurt my ears. I told you guys. <laughs> God. No one believes me until they hear it in person. I'm like, ear protection, really. Plug your ears, don't stand behind it. But what do they do? They stand behind the car. Okay, <laughs> guys, I gotta go in, meet Bobby, get the wing on. Good to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. I gotta tell you, I really appreciate you guys following the brand. Yeah. I mean, if it wasn't for every single one of you subscribing to the channel, watching mm -hmm. the videos when you can watch them, I wouldn't have the luxury of, you know, yeah. slaying tires in this thing because <laughs> I'm legitimately not rich uh, all the money from the channel supports uh, this whole 
you know, dream of mine. Mm -hmm. So thank you, you guys. Uh, Take, take care. care. All right. We finally go into the den of the devil. <laughs> I take it, Bobby? Yep. Damon? Whoa. Do we have a new wing from Boeing for me? Yeah, it's not quite a Red Bull wing, but we'll still give you Oh, yes. Yes, I've missed you. Round two. This is, uh, so this is the exact same wing. Yeah, exact same. And we did, did we do the same things that we did before? It's a little closer than the other yep. ones? Amazing. I can't wait. Look at this, you guys. Yeah. Amir, bro, line up another YouTuber. We're going to do another video. We're going to rip it off. This is just, this is getting to be like the thing that we do now. So how long do you want me to line that up in? Do you want to keep it for like a month or maybe even sooner you just want to wreck it? No, let's just get it wrecked right away. I'm right just away. I'm just joking, you guys. Hard. Trolling, I'm trolling everybody already. <laughs> so you do quite quite the work here. I mean, you do uh, airbag, I mean, what is this? Holy soccer mom dream right here. What, what? What size are these wheels? 24. That's a 24 inch wheel on an ML? Yep. How does a 24 inch wheel fit? Look at the tuck. I can't even get over this. What? A little cut there. A little, oh, just a little cut, yeah, right? Just a little cut. You got all sorts of AMG action in here. And then what's this? Wide body? Wide body on a C63. Sheesh, sheesh. All right, well, shall we bring the tire slayer in? Let's do it. All right. I like to watch my car once in a while. Very few people get to drive my car, but the people who work on it get to and uh, when I can, I take the opportunity to stand back and enjoy it moving because other than shops with proper insurance and people who have the coverage, my car is actually not insured for anybody to drive. I can't even let my wife drive it, so. So Bobby's kind enough, well he's starting the wing process on my car to allow us to take this bagged Panamera, which, how sick is this thing? I mean, come on. Now we've been talking about bagging the tire slayer and I've been all over the map with this because obviously I don't want to, you know, jeopardize any performance when it comes to sliding the car sideways or any of the donut-y stupid stuff that I do. Also going, when it's appropriate. Over 200 miles per hour on air always kind of concerned me, but Bobby's assured me that it's good to go. So here's what we gotta do, legit. Like, I'm not, I'm not trolling you guys. Should I bag the tire slayer? Comment below, should I bag it? If I have enough votes, and, and I think I'm pretty sold on this, I think it's the next thing we're gonna do. Oh, well, you're bagging it for sure. There's no doubt about it. What do you think, Bobby? I think so, we bag everything. Okay, so the cool thing is, is the product you use here is AccuAir. Yeah and they have a new uh, like internal compressor that's yeah, in a it's, compressor. It's the Acuar CBT. Oh, okay. So here, you gave me the Porsche key. Show us what this thing's all about because um, I was saying I was worried about it being loud too, right? Like, man. Yeah. So you're saying that I don't need to worry about that. Nope, they're so, no tanks. The Acuar, the new CBT endo tanks. Okay. Um, compressor's actually inside that tank. Really? Yep. It's inside that? It's out, all internal. When did they start doing that? Um, they just released it at SEMA. This year? Yeah, 2017. This is a brand new thing. Yeah. Okay. So let's hear this thing. What? Oh, and it's fast. That's it? Yep, that's it. No. I couldn't even hear it from the front. That's how quiet it is. No. Oh, I'm sold on that. And it actually goes up really fast. Yeah. That is one of the things that I hate about the Huracan is Bro, I'm telling you, Christian, when you drive that that car and you see like you're doing like 50 or 60, yeah. you can't raise it because it'll only raise if you're below 40 miles an hour. So well, I okay. just, that's part of the reason why that front lip Bobby's destroyed. Yeah. So this I can raise anytime I want. Anytime you want. And, and you the, lift it right up. And you see how fast it went up? Yeah. The Huracan, when you pull that button, it's like, mm, like it's so slow. <laughs> I've pulled the button sometimes, I've slowed down pulled the button 
and it still isn't gone up fast enough and it's like bang yeah i think this would solve a lot of my problems it's not mine but he's about to bag a g-wagon you're gonna bag a g-wagon bag a g-wagon you sir just became my <laughs> new best friend you're a god okay guys well we're gonna take the panamera and take christian back because his car is a few miles away it's skip over. school called off work uh car breaks down like three miles and you ran here in a hundred degree weather in sandals champion <laughs> my actual tire slayer dd oh, keychain is that cool that's it's a small token but it's like no, it's, it's legit been on the tire slayer oh, key it came off your keychain that's yeah. more than enough yeah i'm like right and you're riding dirty in this thing this this is actually number one drive height you can actually drive this high for real yeah this is not even on the ground yet this is a porsche so i gotta like stick the key in oh, oh i love panties I mean, that came out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Panameras, that's Watch what I meant. I went, I went a little short. That's custom made. You just did that. Just, just Get the f out of here. Oh, how cool is that? Okay, do it again. Do it again. <laughs> that is so cool. Come on. What? <laughs> no. And then what? You hit number two? <laughs> Whoa. Dude, and it's so quick. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Wow, this thing rides good. It's really comfortable. It's so nice. Yeah. It's like firm, but not like it's not super hard. It's more, but it's not sloppy it's either. It's more comfortable than a regular regular Porsche suspension. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Your front lip ripped off too? Yeah, dude, yeah. we're front lip homies. <laughs> Everybody calls me Lambo. Really? I swear to God, that's my nickname. Nobody knows me by my first name. That's a cool nickname. <laughs> I own a Lambo, and I don't even get called Lambo. Lambo. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that is so dope. Okay, dude, put it up again. Hit number three. Four by four, and then all the way down. No, oh, yeah. I, I appreciate it. Thank I got you so you. much. No if you need anything, just hit us up. We're okay. Okay. Thank you. You're good. I'm. I'm good. Okay. Thank you. Let's see what the progress is on the tire slayer. I hit something on the way here. Did you notice that? I don't know. <laughs> I took uh, another chunk out of the splitter. Whatever, oh, whatever it hit, obviously also ripped all of my zip ties that were holding it out. Holy, look at that. It actually put a dent in the car. Wow. Oh, bro, it hit hard. It almost looked like a hammer sitting in the middle of the road or something. Like it was big. So Bobby, walk us through um the engineering of the swing what is this first part that's the bracket that actually mounts the chassis part of the wing to the chassis it actually strengthens your bumper support your, you know upper subframe your bumper support and then your lower subframe and then and you can see how strong they actually are after you hit a wall and they're still functional <laughs> piece <laughs> I'm the perfect candidate to prove all the points of how your stuff is durable <laughs> to, to some degree. You tore the quarter inch plate. That's how hard you hit that wall. Well, I was moving. <laughs> I was doing like 40 sideways around oh, yeah. between, a, between a $2.4 million Bugatti and Alex Choi's Beater Civic <laughs> supercar like mine. So what else we got here? We've got, what are these technically called? Uh, uprights. Uprights, that's right. I, these are made out of half inch 6061 T6 aluminum. Oh, I can see why Choi had his cut out. They're actually not as light as I thought they were going to be. Yeah. But they're strong. They're super strong. And then these are just uh, cro crossbars? Crossbars. All right. Uh, hopefully I remember the measurement right and hopefully they fit. What? <laughs> what? That's what? not my car. What? That's not my car. <laughs> As Bobby predicted, no bueno on the crossbar. So, no big deal. You're gonna make another set. Ta da!
Bobby just whipped up another set of crossbars, but he had to make them from like scratch. You were like welding inserts into something into them, right? Threaded inserts or something. I almost know what I'm talking about. And I said a boot on purpose just to mess with everybody. <laughs> I found a, a maple leaf in the front. That was close to I'm gonna get. <laughs> I travel with that. <laughs> that way if my passport doesn't work when I'm in Beverly Hills and I show the police, I just whip out a maple leaf, maple syrup, whatever it takes, man. You guys, I present to you wing number two. Amazing work. Thanks, sir. Getting to watch you actually like fabricate these and tweak and do all the things you were doing and allow us in your shop filming, being annoying, you know, with cameras <laughs> like, hey, let me, let me film you. Let me watch everything you do. <laughs> okay, we're gonna drop this thing and hit the road. Does that not look better? We are complete again. I feel whole again, I feel whole again. It did look naked now that I like see it again. It looks amazing. Okay guys, smash that subscribe button, show me a thumbs up. Hey, go and rep some DD merch. Link in description, shopdd.com. Thanks again to Bobby at Sadistic. I have a funny feeling we'll be seeing him again. Anything's possible, but uh, until next time, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace.